Saturday. The Camp No. 99,354 fortunate fans will witness it live. Millions of other spectators will follow it on their televisions. All eyes and cameras will focus on the same thing the 22 chosen players. 11 Barcelona players and 11 from the eternal rival Real Madrid will be the protagonists of the game that brings the world to a standstill. The great Clásico of Spanish football. The game between Barca and Madrid is essential in the history of Spanish football. A clash which isn't just a football game, but much more. The Blaugranas have a 10-point lead over their opponents at the top of the table. A win for the Catalans would be a definitive blow for the Whites, as they would end up 13 points behind with seven games to go. Barcelona are on an unbeaten run of 39 games after drawing against Villarreal, a result that pleased Luis Enrique. A positive weekend for us. One game less, one point closer to the objective. There's Iniesta. Lovely little back heel there. It's 3 0 Andres Iniesta. Andres Iniesta returns to the squad after missing the game at El Madrigal. And Rafinha is also back after a six month absence due to a severe knee injury sustained against Roma. The Asturian manager welcomes back the Brazilian midfielder for the most decisive part of the season as the Catalans play for all three titles and rotating players to keep them fresh will be fundamental. Real Madrid arrive in Barcelona knowing that it will be their last chance to have a shot at the title. Defeat would rule them out, but victory would leave them just seven points behind the leaders. The objective for us in the league is to try and overtake Atletico. Now we're closer to them and we're going to continue like that until the end. It's our task to think we must continue picking up points and we're going to prepare for what's ahead. And the only way to do that is by working. It will be a Clásico full of first times, starting with Zidane, who will get his first experience in the dugout. The Whites head into the clash on a good run of four wins on the trot and 16 goals four, averaging four strikes per game. Down the other end, Keylor Navas is also in stunning form. It's Camino, safe from Navas. I've had tough moments, but God has helped me. I kept going to train despite the circumstances and I never gave up. I've always believed in myself and my family have supported me. A lot of people have helped me. I think that's what's brought me here today. To know that when you work with humility and put in the effort and dream big, your dreams can come true. Navas will also be making his debut in a Clásico at the Camp Nou. At the Santiago Bernabeu, he was on the receiving end of four goals, which was the first time the Costa Rican has conceded over two goals in a game this season. It's an important game, a good game, and we have to play well. The team's working well and we have to continue with this run of results, which is important for us. Sergio Ramos and Pepe could return to the lineup after serving a ban against Sevilla. If the Andalusian centre half is back in time from his injury, Zidane will have all of his players available to try and conquer the Camp Nou. 
Voy a intentar meter siempre el mejor equipo. Todos somos, todos somos importantes. Barcelona have gone almost four years winning at home against the eternal rival. The last encounter being decided by Luis Suárez. Good ball for Suárez, and it's a great finish from Luis Suárez. Real Madrid haven't won at the Camp Nou since the 2011-12 season, the last time that they won the league. In possession of the ball. What a ball that is, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo makes it 2-1. Real Madrid dominate the head-to-head -head record with 92 wins over Barcelona's 91. Just one win separates both teams in the greatest game in club football. Barcelona face Real Madrid in the best game of the weekend in the Liga BBVA.